I know there's a guy in that building. guys welcome to enlisted uh this free to play world war ii shooter uh caught my attention sometime in the past and i played it a little bit maybe last year uh for the first time and uh you know got in played a little bit not a whole lot uh but i thought it was pretty cool visually it's uh looks really pretty and has some cool gameplay features that i hadn't seen in other cases you know like uh the main draw is having the uh, npc squad that levels up around you and all the different types of unlocks for weapons and gear and uh different types of squads and, and all that kind of stuff so i'm not going to do a full uh, overview because there's plenty of people plenty of videos on youtube that cover it in, in great detail better than i can probably so uh but today i just wanted to jump in and uh kind of see what the game was like now since i haven't played in a while and uh just i just downloaded it and, and played a round or two and it look it's looking pretty good uh, i had some fun with it uh it's it, it looks really pretty and it plays easy it's easy to get in and uh, just have some fun with so um for right now <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of come in here with this infantry squad. I haven't unlocked anything really yet. Uh, it's a little weird to be playing as this uh, allied, you know, these allies with some of these oddball weapons, but um, you know, like this Ross Mark III rifle. I don't know much about that one uh, from a historical perspective, but it's it's what the American troops have. So um, just gonna jump in and and go with it. Early on, I guess pretty much everybody's firing these bolt action rifles, and eventually you can unlock more more uh, appropriate weaponry like the M1 Garand or M1 Carbine or some machine guns. Eventually, I guess for squad leaders, um, I think one of my squads, maybe the Airborne, starts out with the uh, the grease gun, which is extremely effective, even though it's a starting weapon. But I don't do too bad with the with the bolt actions. They're always kind of fun. Keeps it uh, keeps the game a little slower paced, which which can be kind of cool. And it's not always about running a gun in, right? Uh, so yeah, let's just um, let's see. We got 23 seconds here. Airborne. Yeah, see M3 submachine gun. That's the grease gun. Also, I just unlocked a uh, looks like a British engineering squad. Uh, I don't know anything about their gear set or anything. And then I also have a tank, uh, which I have not used in in the game yet. I don't think. I just did the training level. So let's just let's just start out here again. All right. Now compared to some of the other games that I like, this uh, HUD is a little busy for my tastes. You know, you got waypoints, you got friendly markers, you got ammo counters and squad information and map. Just a lot of stuff. You got hit markers and kill confirmations, and that's just usually not my style. There is a way to turn all that off, but I find that you, you basically end up with like zero information, and that it just becomes really difficult if you can't even see. You can't see how much ammo you have. You can't, you know, you just you don't have any information at all. So um, we're just gonna leave the HUD on for now and. Uh, maybe I'll do some gameplay, uh, maybe some higher res gameplay with no HUD and really crank the settings up to see see what this game can really look like. Oh, they're already up on us. Well, let's go get them.
Enemy is winning. Get it together. Let's go. Now, visually, this game is stunning to me. I just, I think the level of destruction they've got in the maps and... Oh, shoot. Don't run me over. Okay, Chank. Hold on. I don't think they knew I was there. That was probably my fault for running in front of them, but... Anyway, like I was saying, I think visually these maps look amazing. I think they, the lighting is really good, and there's just so much cover and crap to hide behind. It's it's pretty great. And so far, it seems like the bots navigate uh, everything pretty well. I don't see a lot of glitches for this. Oops, hold on. You know, these single player, you know, and this is sort of a mix of single player and multiplayer, I guess, but a lot of games with, with bots, they just struggle to navigate these super broken terrains like this. Where was that? I think I got shot through a wall. I guess my whole squad is dead. All right, let's just try out this engineering squad. I don't think they got much as far as firepower goes, but... Who knows? Maybe we need long rifles. Is that? again that building Ooh, that guy popped up Went back down trying to come out behind where'd he go Tank. Let's go and switch to my other squad mate. That's a nice feature. You can easily just jump into the into another squad member if you get hurt or whatever. I just can't get up there. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Miss that guy. <laughs> Man, we're in trouble. We can't even get to that first objective.
Oh boy. Under fire. squad is dead so it's just me again but <sighs> all right you're born
And I tried to just tell him to follow me, but I don't know. Whatever. Hmm. All right, let's just run to the objective and die promptly. Yep. I guess I shouldn't gripe about my squad if I'm the one that dies so fast, too. Yeah, see, it's hiding behind us again. Enemy is almost one. Don't let this happen. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do about that? Doubt that's going to do any good, but... Got an armored car over there now. Oop. Yeah, all right, let's just go hide. Oh, seems like everybody's hiding. Great. spot if I don't get shot in the back. Sound design in this game is pretty great. Oh, not enough reinforcement. Ah, that's not good. Well, I guess we're probably going to lose this one. Looks like we're down to one more player. I don't know. They sure just set some stiff resistance there in that center point, especially. But early on, man, I just couldn't get it together. Did a little better as it went on, but they seem to have coordinated their defenses a little better than we had coordinated our attack. 
well, it's all experience. It counts towards uh, something anyway, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Man, there's so much to this UI stuff. They just throw all these icons and upgrades and levels and experience and stats and scores. And, man, it's just hard to keep up with. Ah, uh, what was that? 42 and 11. Not the best, not the worst, I guess I could have done. This guy did all right. I probably should have tried to advance on the objectives a little more, but like I said, I'm still kind of getting used to this game. Uh, but it's pretty fun. We'll see as, uh, if I play it some more and progress, maybe unlock some more interesting equipment, do a little better. There's a bunch of other campaigns, too. I'm uh, interested to try out. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. If you click on that, you've got Battle of Moscow, Normandy, Berlin, Stalingrad, Tunisia. And I don't know if all of these are available in the free-to-play version. Um, I have not tried them out, but uh might try out some, some of the uh, Eastern Front stuff. Could be interesting. A lot of tense city battles. And maybe some of this North Africa stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if there's a way to to select what map you're playing to. Um, maybe maybe events or custom maps. I'm not sure. I gotta I gotta play around with it a little more and see. But it's kind of cool. Get this squad up to level five. Airborne's level nine. I like that grease gun. That's pretty effective, though. It's pretty good. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll just see you next time.